Jibi. How are you guys doing? Very, very, very good. Very fine. Tunashukuru Mungu. Yeah. Wewe umekuja already ushavaa ya romba. Yeah, nimevaa ya romba. Unajua Mungu akikuelekeza mahali mahali mtu mnaweza saidiana unajiwekelea. Yeah. Position yourself. Kabisa. <laughs> yeah. Of course we all know kwamba nyinyi ni marafiki yeah. wa DJ Mo na size 8 and that's why pia mmeitwa hapa. Mm. Pengine tuko ufupi tu. Urafiki wenu ulianzia Ha naomba mama aseme kwanza manake urafiki wao ndio umeanza kitambo yes. kabla nimpate. Mimi nimejua Mo for 15 years. Mo akianza ku train kama DJ. Those are the years that I met him na nimeona growth yake from way way back before. Aoe akikutana na Linette all through to right now they have two amazing babies and now they are groundbreaking. I'm so happy for them. Yeah. Yes. So Linette tulikuja tukakuwa marafiki. Oh Linette nimezoea kumita Linette cuz na cinema mm, beshte. So size 8 tumekuja tukakuwa marafiki through DJ Mo for the fact that he ni bibi ya DJ Mo. Yes. So li introduce Ah mimi na mama tumejuana miaka kumi kwa hivyo kwa hiyo miaka kumi ndio nimejua Mo. Lakini before hiyo nilimjua kama msanii. Yes. But tukuweza tuku kujuana ile ya sasa family friends and everything. So hiyo tulijuana within this 10 years ndio tukakuwa nao family friends. Yeah. What are some of the amazing things ambazo mume not pengine siku ya leo in this ground breaking ceremony? Ah uh, kwanza niongee kama mwanaume kitu cha muhimu ambacho nime note ni kujipanga. Hii ni familia imejipanga na as the head of the house akijipanga inamaanisha definitely the, the entire house itakuwa imepangwa vizuri so nimeona kuna taratibu fulani ambao wako nayo hata ukifuata growth yao iko na na hao ndio wamekuwa kitu inspire na kutupush sana pia sisi tuanze mambo ya ujenzi na nina nini so kuna mpangilio cha muhimu ni mpangilio Yes. That is the greatest. Yes. Yeah, that's the greatest thing uh, beside from also. anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kuna mpangilio ambao wako nayo yeah. ndio ikafika hapa. Kama una mpangilio kuna vitu zingine uwezi ya achieve. Kabisa hard work. I've noted hard work from way way back on Mo akiwa DJ akiamka kwenda in TV. He used to be he, has, he used to have a vision. Mm. And ame ileta kwa marriage Linette night tunamjua Enja ame push Mo to be the best uh, man he can be. Hard work yao. They never sleep. Wewe upata home. Wow, I'm kangi, yani. As you know, wow, mm. they push and push and push. And that's what I want to tell guys. Just don't sit there and expect that God will do something in your life. But you combine God and hard work and your kitu ikuje itokleze. So for me, what I've gotten from them is hard work. They are hard workers ish. Yeah. Ah, wanawak. Wow. Kabisa. And of course, pia juzi tuliona kwenye mitandao tu kwamba pia nyinyi mnaendelea na shughuli yenu ya ujenzi. Imefikia wapi? Ah shughuli yetu ya ujenzi inaendelea vizuri. Yeah. Kwa sasa hatuwezi taka kusema tuko wapi lakini cha muhimu tungependa kusema tulianza na tunashukuru Mungu kwa every progress yenye tu, tu, tuko nayo. Yes. We will keep updating people exactly. in our new project that is Jenga Nasi. Tuta keep to keep update. Yes. Kuna project tulijenga tulikuwa tunajengea shosho yangu tulimaliza but hatukuweza ku capture step by step because we, we realize we are inspiring a lot of people. Exactly. Inspiring. Inspir- inspiring a lot of people. <laughs> so we will be taking people step by step yes. from groundbreaking to evo processing breakdown what do you need we are doing that uh, an entire thing exactly. kwa hivyo kwa sasa tusiezi kupatia a particular point because hatujafika point of update tuko na points of update as we continue kujenga so once we get to the point of update we will definitely call you guys and update but f- one thing for sure yes god blessed us with the land at a very prime place we don't take it for granted and yes for true uh, we did groundbreaking as you saw and the project is ongoing and we thank god for that mm. yes and you guys have actually been doing this uh only through content creation yes yes a hundred percent if you work hard in your content creation th- like the way you guys work man sometimes morning i was see, watching her story show somewhere else doing something and then you guys don't sleep sometimes i was landing from zanzibar all of you were actually at the airport and it was very late so everything is hard work don't sit there and expect something to do so yeah content creation pays and, and also what, what i'll add from uh, content creation all of us are able to earn something small from whatever gig we are having how you plan yourself vile unapanga kumi yako ita determine sana na vinye maisha yako itakuwa because we we got to a point and decided we have to purpose to invest and save for a particular thing na we are urging young people even new content creators ile shilingi kidogo unapata usidharau 600 imetosha bag moja ya bag but ukikula unaweza kula bag pale vizuri sana unaweza kula kuku vizuri sana na sisemi usikule kuku kula hiyo kuku lakini what i'm saying is adapt adapt a saving culture exactly 
Because everything, every project that we have done, anything that we get, we have a saving culture. So, ni kidogo kidogo, hakuna siku tumekamuka tukapata tuma pesa, mm. aa. Kidogo kidogo tukipata kumi tano tunaweka, na hivu ndi tumeza kwa kwa everything that we have. So, we encourage young people to adapt a saving culture. It will save their life. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. You and Mili, of course, most of the time muna kwaga pamoja, mm. muna create content pamoja. Mm. And someone would be wondering, ai, I'm choki kwa pamoja, you know, like people would say, hey, ni mekanai sana, paka na buweka. How do you guys manage, you know, to keep? Uh, yourselves bado with relationship yenu bado iko um sisi tulipata na kama beshte kwanza so kulikuwa na ile beshte flani i used to love just hanging around him one thing because is is silly you get to laugh a lot you get to <laughs> silly terms of ukikana tena utacheka uchizi so i i really enjoyed that first a part of us being together throughout and then another thing we've learned if we there anytime we Maybe anytime we try to be separate, things don't grow. To mm. to stagnate. So to look two is better than one. In mm. a idea sana in our growth, at a plan V2 to go in unison, and with that it has really, 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 really helped us. For me, I would say when it works, don't break it. Mm. So it's working us being around together each other. Uh, yeah. Yes. He has his off day. Uh, it is really working. Uh, uh, we have been kuna siku to make a candle kamuda na eh wakati vitu zingine sege mnege sege mnege ikatokea and uh, you know you realize uh, she, she's my friend she's my only true friend that i can count on i have other friends but kuna wale naaminia kwa vitu fulani wewe unamwaminia sana lakini pia mimi kama mzee wa nyumba niko na siku zangu i have my off days nendaga na hang out na boys na hang out na people my mentors and everything so but we encourage people to be together I as you can it makes sense do unajua watu wengine wakiona wanaume mekaa sana bibi yake unaona ni kama mtu amekaliwa but it's for your own good i don't know how long it will take you to realize that but the minute you realize it it is for your own good na nimeona vitu mingi i've seen a lot of good things being together you understand and i face the other world when we were not together so i'm i'm safe at being, being there all the time yeah because uh, i'm i'm just trying to think like some of the some of the time kuna tokiaga some online drama mengine wewe umefanya kitu wewe umefanya kitu how do you guys manage to you know to deal with it in our affective relationship you know in one way or another ah uh, personally mimi i need affect in your office yetu office yetu ni online venye mtu wa maziwa uamka unaenda kuchukua maziwa ukipeleka soko unakuta maziwa yote yameharibika customer amekutusi amefanya nini and then again uwezi fresh kila mtu you understand hata mtu ice cream unasema if you want to make people happy uza ice cream but hata mtu ice cream watu wako na sensitive teeth wampendi watu asma wampendi juu ya hiyo baridi so but the best thing is understand where you are and if you understand your purpose you focus fo ile kuna kitu umekuleta hapa kama kama wea li kama BTG kama uh, Plug TV kama nani consumer evil commented kuna kitu imekuweka so uki lose focus because of what other people are saying because people people distract people unaelewa mtu atasema kitu ndio ikukasirishe ukose kuamka utengeneze content but since we are used to, we have been here for me have been here for over 10 years in the in the entertainment industry ni nini sijasikia ni nini hujanitusi ni nini sijatusiwa unaelewa so um, I, i have a purpose ile siku nilijua purpose yangu ni nini kwa industry na tukajua sisi kama content creators the rest is side, side show you never, side show. never stop at every barking dog mm. atu ya amesema oh bwanangu ni bebe handbag mm. oh eh, sasa hiyo ni mbaya watu wakipendana wait after kwa kubebe handbag mm. By the way, just look for you as a baby handbag. For now, it's a baby Anna. What is one relationship advice you guys wish you knew, you know, before you guys started dating? Like in same, say, hey, tungejua hii. Hata labda tungekuwa mbali kidogo. Huyu anaweza sema yake mimi Compromise. See communication. Compromise. Compromise is everything. Unaambiwa ngwa si for ukiolewa time mama Rusi mingi unasikia anga si for communication. Communicate, communicate. Mimi yangu ni changing my C to compromise. Always look. Compromise the actually just compromise. I can't even explain it. Yangu ni as a man is be open. I've seen out of experience uh, kuna vitu mingi nilikuwa nimemficha na zikakuja zikawa mbaya, zikaharibu. But wakati nianza kuwa open up eh, inakuwa ni kitu mzuri. With a good example kuna familia unakuta baba mtu alikufa mnaambia ngo baba yenu alikuwa na vitu lakini yako yeye ambia mama yenu so you end up being poor 
yet your father had properties you understand so i i learned to be open with her anything simu yangu ako na password atm yangu ako na password kila kitu ako nayo because ni yeye naaminia in case of anything god forbid ni yeye namwachia na najua namwaminia hii miaka yote she will be able to take care of my children and also my my property yes on that issue ya thank you very much for that actually yes. uh, on that issue ya kusema kwamba unabebeaga unabebeana handbag mm. uh, kibe alianza kukuita kanuthia nani kibe hatu ongele wacha ni kwambia kweli we are not talking about kibe i'm not going to make him make another mm. episode uh, how, about how, me about 100k i'm making an ezedo usi comment how old is kibe I respect old people. I respect old people. I don't argue with old people. Ni kama baba, yeye ni kama anko yangu. So siwezi taka nimkosee shima. Ni anko yangu. He is older than I'm 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 35. I believe and I give senior people respect. So I don't want to stand here and disrespect him. Because I I don't know. Mimi ni watu wanatumia anga vitu na I don't know what he does. But I, I want to respect him kama my elder brother so i can't stand here nianze kutusi my elder brother and say when him jinga oh unaongeaje kama mtoto mdogo oh tafuta kazi oh siju unafanya nini america watu watu wajui nini unafanya america you know i don't want to stand simama hapa ni seme oh wacha kututusi si tuko kenya tumeamua kutulia hapa tufanye kazi wacha tufanye kazi yetu unaelewa saki nikae hapa ikae nikaa na mkosee shima atueni mtu mzima tafuta kitu ya watu wazima ufanye you understand because he's like my elder brother and i respect him so much whatever he call me i don't know alinita <laughs> Alisema hivyo. Kwa nini ujamaa uko na miaka ngapi? Anyway mi mi siju kitu anafanya but kitu anafanya kama inamtengenezea pesa kututusi ni sawa. Kama mimi kunitusi ama wewe kututusi inamlipa ama inamlea mali yako ni sawa. Ni sawa. Nikienda America nitamtafuta tukae chini tukunywe chai. I'll be touring. So nitamtafuta tukae chini as my elder brother and he advise and he what should I do? Understand? Yeah but pia kitaka advice ya relationship naweza mwambia because yangu imeka for 10 years. Mimi siji kama kwa relationship but yangu imeka for 10 years probably naweza mwambia mawili matatu. Yeah. I hope si jonge. Of course kuna unacheka na fitina. Kafukusui. Of course kuna unacheka na fitina. Of course kuna mashabiki they've been holding it down since they want for you and for for me. Yes. Talk to them again. Uh, for those who have been uh, I I normally love to to talk to to those the people especially who have been criticizing me I love critics because they have made me any piece of art that I bring kuna watu wana criticize inanipanga you understand inanipanga different thought line because when base yangu utani support hata nikifanya kitu ya ujinga utani support unaelewa but I love people who critique me uh, we take critic positively we will take it negatively but we'll take it positively for us to you know better our art so we i like to thank so much my critics i have my mentors who I, i won't mention i have my support system my wife i have a production team i have my fans my family it's actually a family my online family and you want to support in everything that we do si lazima ikuwe pesa maombi ideas tunawapenda sana na msichoke na sisi muendelee kutuombea because hii safari hii space si rahisi. To our day ones I call them gang gang. Mm -hmm. You are the truest. Thanks so much for consuming our content. Mm -hmm. We don't take it for granted. We love you so 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 much. Keep supporting us. Yeah. Ya mwisho tu tukimaliza. Yes. Uh, character ya Papa Freddy inarudi ni. Karaka Papa Freddy ilikuwa imeenda wapi? Loading. Oh, uh, in a loading in a, in, a very, in a very big way. Thank you so much for guys waiting. Uh miss you in Thailand but I don't need, I don't think I'll be in the country because it's <laughs> yani sasa hii ndio inafungua kila kitu yani so once I premium muta niona but it's coming very soon and uh, you guys are gonna love it uh ngapenda sana ngashukuru thank you very much you guys are amazing thank you so much okay sir i am